Hey, it's Gunlaboy4 here, uh, making another video today. In this video, I'm gonna be making a story video. So the video will include a video of a drawing video and a story video. So guys, please like this video if uh, you found it to be a nice video and be sure to share, share the video if you like the video because this video is difficult to video to make. So. Uh, and, uh, and really helps, helps to make, make more, more videos. videos. Also, also, if you, if you, if you video, video this, this video, video will share there, there will be a good, good video. video. So. Right, yeah, this is a this was probably the lamest thing I've ever done. Unsubscribe. Welcome to another drinking story, another inexperienced drinking story that is because those are actually fun to listen to. Last time I told you about the tale of the edge. How I got drunk for the first time with some middle school classmates between my first and second high school year. It was like a middle school class reunion only one year after graduation. It was a dumb as fuck idea but it actually happened. Well now I'm in the second year of high school. At the start of it I wasn't really invested in any friend groups in my class yet other than some nerds who I never hung out with outside of school but I wanted to have a social life as well now that I had gotten a taste of it so I tried to start talking more to some cooler kids that were still I guess pretty nerdy but also did some edgy stuff from time to time. Overall my high school classmates were a lot more chill than my middle school mates were so alcohol consumption was not that widespread yet but as I said the guys who I started to talk to more did drink from time to time although they weren't too experienced at it yet just like me so a was honestly perfect for me. I didn't feel too out of place. The year was 2013, but it was coming to an end because 2014 was just around the corner. I had never done anything special on New Year's Eve before other than sitting at home behind my computer while my parents get turned up with a bunch of their middle-aged friends in the living room. This year though, change was finally coming. Because you see, my new friends invited me to their New Year's celebration. And I felt fucking special, alright? Another party for me, fuck yes! But in reality, the party contained of four guys in a small ass apartment acting like retards. So that's three dudes plus me. Dude number one was the host. Dude number two was the co-host, and dude number three had an expensive ass plate shirt on. You're probably wondering why the fuck does it matter what he was wearing, but I just had to mention that because something will happen to it later in the story. So, the New Year's Eve rolls around. For some reason my stomach was aching like hell and I really didn't feel like getting up, but I didn't want to blow my chance of going to a social event where I actually know everyone and can feel comfortable, so I got up anyway and set foot to the guy's place. I was the last one to arrive so when I stepped in they immediately started putting on their coats and shit to start going to the store after some booze. I thought that was weird because we could have just met up at the store in the first place but well whatever I didn't think too much of it. Well we get to the liquor section and then I realize fuck 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 I have to shoe something. They buy six packs of a certain type of beer so I just copy them. <laughs> I'm like, huh, yeah, this is some uh, pretty good choice, huh? Yeah, yeah. It wasn't a good choice at all. I didn't know it was the worst type of beer at the time, and I'm sure, and I'm not sure if they knew it either. It was the type that middle-aged men who yell at the TV while watching soccer drink. One of the guys was 18 already at the time, so we shamelessly made him go through the checkout, and boom, we were in the possession of some alcohol. So, we get back to the guy number one's apartment. It's still pretty early, around like 9pm or so, so midnight was still a few hours away. These three start playing some weird ass game on Steam. I'm not much of a gamer, so I didn't know what it was. And uh, I got a little bored, so I decided to be the first one to start consuming the booze. I still thought it tasted like shit at the time, so it was a little tough for me, but actually I still think that type of beer tastes like shit. Anyway, uh, the others join in with me after a while as well, and uh, some dumb shit is starting to happen as time passes. First of all, being the inexperienced cunt I was, I drank way too quickly, and that also meant I quickly started acting like a fucking idiot. For some reason my voice changed to a much lower tone and I couldn't change it back anymore. This is always sounded like a big black, like a big muscle anime villain. And uh, I started talking about some shit about the history of her country and some other fucking bullshit I would never normally talk about. So I was kinda like a laughing stock for the night at this point. But anyway, midnight was getting closer and we realized we don't have any fireworks to set off. 
For some reason, we all agreed that we definitely should go and buy some on the last minute for our last money. So that's exactly what we did. It was like 11.40 p.m. now. And uh, for some reason, they were actually still selling fireworks in the store this late. I think it was the, just the last leftover ones. They just had to get rid of them. So uh, yeah, we bought one of those cakes that shoot out multiple rockets one after another. The one we got cost around 30 euro and was supposed to do like 19 shots. It was pretty expensive for us, but we ended up buying it anyway because we were drunk. Well, now that our last money was spent, we went back to the front yard of the guy's house. And at this point, the new year was only a few minutes away. Since it was an area full of big apartment buildings, it was a shared yard. So there were still a fuck ton of people there. The last few minutes of the year tick away and whoa, bitch, it's officially 2003. We light the fuse of the fireworks and uh, to our surprise, the thing shoots out only like five rockets instead of the 19 it was supposed to. So uh, yeah, we got fucking pranked, bruh. We're fucking pranked, bruh. <laughs> Fuck you, you just got pranked. Yeah, you heard it's funny when you did the filthy Frank thing. So we had just blown our last cash against the sky and uh, went back inside in deep disappointment and sorrow because we had just spent our last money for nothing. Well, though my stomach ache was magically gone at this point, it had just slowly disappeared as the night went on, but now I start feeling something different. I start feeling a bit nauseous. Fucking amazing. So, uh, I laid down for a little while. There was just a little thin ass mattress on the floor in his room, and for some reason I couldn't go sleep in the, on the couch in the other room. I think it was because his grandma was there or some shit like that, I don't remember. <laughs> So I just lay on the uncomfortable ass mattress while the other three dudes went to the kitchen to cook some piece of meat in the oven. Spoiler alert, they didn't know how to do it at all. Anyway, while they're at it, I'm just laying there and it's starting to get pretty fucking cold because the window was half open. It was a cold ass winter and I was only wearing a t-shirt. One of them comes into the room for a moment and sees me laying there and asks if I'm okay and I'm just like, oh yeah man, I'm, I'm fine, it's totally fine, I'm just taking a little break, you know, nothing special. Well, I'm actually pretty much unable to move at all because I feel so shitty and I'm getting really fucking cold. So he's just like, oh, okay, uh, there's a blanket somewhere here if you need it and uh, goes back to the kitchen. But I was too gone to get the blanket myself, so I just try to sleep like that but uh, sleep did not come so I was just uh, forced to listen to their commentary of the meat they had attempted to cook and were now eating it was apparently way too raw but they ate it anyway still after that nice little meal they come back to the room I don't remember much what happened there <laughs> at that moment because I was half asleep for some time but the next thing I do remember is that I had been pushed off the mattress almost completely as dude number three had also passed out behind me and had taken over the mattress so I was now just laying on the fucking bare floor. Someone had put the blanket over both of us though so at least it wasn't as cold anymore but it could barely be called a blanket. It was more like just some ripped piece of cloth. There was a big ass hole in it and someone had laid it over me in a way that my face went through the hole and it was the only visible part of my body and it looked like a fucking carrot. I <laughs> didn't realize it myself though and was wondering why they were laughing like that. Uh, God damn it did. Dude number one and dude number two didn't plan to sleep though. They just planned to play killing floor the whole night. Well, some time passes again, but I'm still unable to move because I still feel like ass. Then I started to hear some weird ass noises behind my back. I couldn't understand what it was at first, but thankfully I realized that a fraction of a second before it was too late. I heard something subtly splatter on the floor behind me. Dude number three, who was sleeping behind me, just fucking puked. And it was really close to hitting my back. But thankfully I managed to roll myself away before it could hit me. I only got a few droplets of puke on my shirt. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, dude. But the only blanket we had was now ruined, and uh, it couldn't be saved anymore, so the two guys who were awake just threw it out of the window. Also, his $100 shirt was fucked as well. What made it even worse was that he had borrowed it from his dad, and he had now puked all over it. The room now smelled like vomit, so they had to keep the window completely open for it to go away, but now that I didn't have a blanket anymore, and the window was wide open, I started to slowly freeze on the floor there. But luckily enough, I had enough 
enough life force in me now to speak. So I asked if one of them could get me my coat and I just used that as a blanket because I was still too weak to put it on. Thankfully I managed to fall asleep after that little incident and uh, I woke up around two hours later. My body felt sore as hell since uh, I had spent the whole night on the bare floor. But at least I was actually able to get my ass up now. I really just wanted to go home to my bed already. The first buses were just starting to move thankfully, so I just uh, woke up the guy who nearly puked on me and told him what had happened because he was barely awake when it took place. His dad's $100 Gucci shirt was fucked so he had some explaining to do. Anyway, uh, we just get our asses out of there and uh, share our impressions of the social event that had just taken place on the way home. It was nice. It was nice. We loved it. So, yeah. The moral of the story is that if, you, if you're under the age of 18, Obviously, please drink as much alcohol as you can. It's very fun and I recommend it. So promotion time. Uh, okay, so I just wanted to remind everyone that I'm currently taking digital art commissions. I've just recently updated the information and the price list as well. As you may or may not know, YouTube ad revenue isn't really existent anymore, so I gotta emphasize on the commissions right now more than ever. So if you're interested in receiving an artwork like you saw in this video or any other type of artwork, then feel free to check out the link in the description for more info. It would be of great help because I don't really feel like starving to death yet. That's it. Bye.